God will work with you this year. Amen. Your amen is not born again. The choir just so does no samudiana. Say it now. Can I pray for you? I said the Lord will work with you this year. The Lord will stand with you this year. In the name of Jesus. Proverbs 13 verse 18. Poverty and shame shall be to him that refuseth instruction. That is to say, anyone that refuse instruction, that did not take advice, is going to see poverty and is going to see shame. But he that regarded reproof shall be honored. Anyone that listening to reproof, that listening to correction, will be honored. Proverbs 9 and verse 9. Instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. As you will hear God today, may you go wise, wiser, and wiser in the name of Jesus. Amen. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. My prayer for you as you go out of this service today. May you never be comfortable until something moves you to a place where you will go higher in the name of Jesus. Amen. Power of planning. Part two. Last Sunday we were teaching on power of planning. Today, power of planning. Part two. We are stopping from where Sorry, we are beginning from where we stopped last week. We stopped at the wisdom. Is it not? Yes. Now, number five on that same lesson, we talk about diligent. Diligent. Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 29. Proverbs 22 and verse 29. The Bible says, He that is diligent, a man, diligent, to his business, he shall stand before kings and not stand before men. men. He shall stand before kings and not stand before men. men. Diligence. That means stay put. Listen to me. Stay put in that work. Stay put in that business. Stay put in that job. Stay put in that thing you are called to do. Diligent means walk. To walk. For you to sustain yourself in that level, you must go doing hard work. Can we read it together? Sit down, a man diligent in his business. He shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before men. men. So, diligence put you before the high table. Diligence put you before the high table. You must give yourself to hard work. You can never enjoy divine backing except you are devoted to hard work. You can never enjoy divine backing except you are devoted to hard work. The assistant, last year, December, you released music. He said, Yes. He said, The month of May, sorry, April, yes. April, before. December, you were, you released music. He said, yes. How come you release music so soon? He said, laugh. He said, I am diligent to it. He said, once I am inside the car, I am thinking about the music. Once I am sleeping, I am thinking about the music. Once I am in the kitchen, I am thinking about the music. So, diligence pushing hard 
network push him to that level. So what you think is what you become. Inside the car is always the mind, the spirit is the music. On the street, the mind, the spirit is the music. In the kitchen, the mind, the spirit is the music. So when she is sleeping, the angel comes and fellowship with her and inspire her of the music. The angel will sing for her. Then they will sing together. The angel will say, he's going, she will wake up. And the memory began to play. What it does is to carry forth and begin to sing the same music that was sung to her in a dream and sang them on music on phones, record, voice record, and begin to med meditate on them and begin to put things in place. Before you know, if you come out with the music, they'll say it's music is touching. Diligency. Diligency. See thou a man diligent in his business. He shall stand before kings and not many people. Work is the capital price for success. Can I say that again? Work is the capital price for success. It is the work you have worked. It is the diligence you put in that business, in that job and office that will give you success. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 11b. But he that gathereth by labor shall increase. He that gathereth by labor shall increase. Proverbs 13 and verse 11b. He that gathereth by labor. There are people who are very good in spending. They are very good in playing games. They take what you to collect another one's own and add to their own. God is not talking about that. Look at that. Wait, gotten by vanity shall do what? Shall be demolished. So any weight you get by what you get by phone, you get by trick. The Bible says it shall be demolished. It will scatter. Say, but he that gathered by labor. At the hawk, I gather one thousand. At the hawk, I gather five thousand. At the hawk, I gather seven thousand. I went to my work. They pay me five thousand. I kept it. He that gathered by labor, the Bible says it shall increase. But anyone that gathered, that got their wealth, he was young. The Bible says the wealth will scatter. If you get by 419, it will go down. The Bible says it will diminish. If you get by trick, the Bible says it will diminish. My prayer for you, may you not suffer in your evening. Yeah. If your amen is loud, you are the person I'm talking to. Yeah. Because, sir, many have succeeded to lay foundation that will make them to suffer in the evening. I will be lawyer or say, more than say, Ramude ebe robo elu ebe robo eko. There are many people that will suffer in their evening. Why? Because of what they are planted with their hands. Can I pray for you? Every of your labor, God will increase them. I just spoke to just one person who understand my prayer. I say your labor, God will increase it. Church, can I talk to you? The Bible says we should not despise the days of little beginning. Don't mind how you start. Don't look at them. You may buy only one rubber of beans to make my mind. And it may be not finish. It not end there. You may buy tomorrow and maybe it may make it finish. It not end there. Diligence is stay put. Stay put. 2011, 2012, 2013. If I was, if I was not diligent to God's work, I would have run and missed it. But it got to a level where I was praying, Lord, I don't want it again. I don't want the ministry here. I don't want to do the work again. I was praying and the Lord finally told me on the 4th of April 2013, I said, this is the place he called you. 
So don't move. So that was when I stopped praying that prayer. I had the Lord said, This is the place I ask you to come. You didn't know you didn't know how you get here, but I called you here. So stay put. So stay put. I discovered that the light was gradually coming brighter and brighter. So diligence gives you the grace and the mind to stay. Can I talk to you? Learn to walk with your hand. Walk, learn to walk with your hand. I stay here. I just stay three months. The business did not go. The business is not just move. So I pack out. You are in this place again. Three months. The business is just go. And you pack out. Before you know, you will be thinking, is it witch? Is it wizard? Azenoa, Osonoa, Ejanoa. Then it is what you think. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. So it is what you not think that you begin to dream. Your mind will not tell you, look at, look at, look at your business. It will not open your eyes to see that your business environment, which is are doing business there. It was what you think. It was what you think. It was what you think. As a man thinketh in his heart. So it is. It was what you think. So when you stay put in the business, you grow. How many of us will plant mango tree? In three months, you begin to repeat. Talk to me. How many of us will plant a palm tree in three months? We begin to repeat. So nothing like that. So stay put in that business. Stay put in that business. So give yourself to hard work. There is price for hard work. The price for hard work is success. If you hear me say, I hear you. Learn to work with your hand. Before working with your people are very good. Are you bow? Are you bow? In a business near Kala, Yaka, I do a key. Yes, Eva. He can't call you over here. Okay, call her. Mobile, you want meet up? Abi, I want to meet up. I call her. I walk here, I walk here, I walk here, I walk. No, 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 no. I want to lower. What? Mobile, I want meet up. Mobile, a skin of a watch change. Ukmo, I want to meet up. I want zero. I want zero. I want meet up. It does not mean whether she meet up or not. About your own. Walk with your head before walking with hand. Can I talk to people? Walk with your head before walking with hand. Because many will make it. But my prayer for you, every one of you will make it here. Yeah. Whether you are coming from a poor foundation, <laughs> my duty is to preach you to prosperity. My duty is to push you I teach you the ways. None of you here will be poor. Yeah. I said none of you here shall be poor. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. I said learn to walk with your head before walking with your hand. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 15. Say the labor of the foolish wearied every one of them. Why? Because he know not how to go to the city. He know not how to go to the city. So, not that he does not labor, he labor. But the labor wearied everyone because he lacked wisdom. Because he lacked understanding. Sometimes, the Gnodia will call, Daddy, I'm traveling. Where are you going to some place? When are you coming back on Thursday? What are you going to do? Walk. And if you measure the caliber of people that he's working with, you will shock. By education, he's not qualified to stand with them. Speaking English, he's not qualified to stand with them. Reading, he's not qualified to stand with them. What qualifies him to stand with these people? It is the business he do, the job. And he's stay put. 
I will not be ashamed or afraid to introduce him to anybody, any client. If he, if he take me for me to stand, I will stand because I know him. I know his work. If you hear me say, I hear you. Yes. Number two, number, number six, discipline. Discipline. Discipline to maintain growth and success. It takes discipline to maintain growth and success. Many are not disciplined when it comes to money. Many are not disciplined when it comes to business. I have seen somebody, I have seen a person, they open business in front of the house along the street. They left the business, they left the store and went inside the house to be watching drama. On yourself, on your own, judge. So people who shed or in their store or in market, I will tell the neighbor now, go me Just again, my mama. Oh, we back early in the morning. If I, even before eight, you are succeeded to come to a store, you shared and you left the store for your neighbor. And you went say, I they come now now. Before you come back, it was two o'clock. Then whether the person in a mumu, where you leave the store for, where you are in the city center, I don't know. If not me, glory to God, because you directed your customer to me. Because there's no way that woman will come. If you ask you, I say in all day, I don't know where we can go. My oh, you say make her they look come a bit. Then my dad, what do you want back? Girl, not come back for you. I be not be so. I'm my teaching now. I be area. There are people. They will open store. They are their neighbor that they are coming. And you know that the business you are doing is the same business that that woman is doing or that brother. And you tell the person to be watching your stuff for you because na mumu na ikon cancel live up Then you not left and go your own. Call me by two. Do you know how many hours you wasted? Are you not coming in the afternoon? I say how far now? Oh, he say I say eighteen and I go for you. He say ah thank you. Customer know your day today. Am I talking here? If you don't want to open store, close your store and stay your house. If you know that you are coming to business, get prepared and nothing should move you away from your business environment. Do you know why? There are some person that will come. It is you they want to see there. Not your child, not your neighbor. It is your present they need there. And the way you talk to them, even though the thing are 70 naira, and you tell them 80 naira, they would like to buy from you because of the way and manner you approach them. This is where this becomes in. Now, another way of discipline is when you borrow money from microfinance or you borrow money from bank to establish business. You should not eat that business anyhow. If I see if nobody will ask you. If nobody will ask you where you borrow money from, we ask you. When it comes to discipline, some are very weak because they are not able to discipline themselves. I was talking about this last week. That when you come to borrow money from Lapo or from microfinance bank or from any bank or from a friend or from a meeting and you establish business and God decide to bless you with that business in the first trip, then you conclude then the gain was for you to just go and squander and believe God tomorrow that it will happen. You remember say life now ups and down, ups and down. So life is not a straight line. So when it's up, you get and reserve. So that when it's down, you use that you reserve to cover. But you get to up again. So when you think that the same way money comes in the morning, in the same way it will come in the afternoon and come in the evening, you are getting it wrong.
Because there's no house to be house speed now. Uh, uh, five thousand pa I am going. La Gamale J Ivaina, Joe Mumalik Badia, La Where any Hani ha Hamali, no more Malik Badia. Oh, whoever me go. You know that this are costly. Esa Esa Oh come la Mali J so that Kenna ya see ya we Nave Coco even me you na yao a woman. But where we go? We eh Mali J. I can ask a key. Mother, how much for a cup of um, a goosey? Oh, well, 250. 250. Mother, I know why it is. Ah, Mother, not 250 because of you. Because what of the one where they use mesh? They, they break. Because that one at 200. You know, say that one 180. Why is pricing? Woman don't come where they sell meat, where they sell rice. Paper rice. If the price Melo, he had the paper rice. But the Uke Wai T. Away 200 now. Now you now you bought baby. Away 250. Away my day. Madam, this is your steel toner. That woman would turn it with his with spoon. Oh what must say? He bought already. Madam, give me two two paper rice. We are looking at discipline now. Two paper eyes. How much? Oh, well, 50 naira. Ah, 100 naira, you know. Hey, 50 naira. Okay, a hard 200. Oh, we have 200. Oh, we have 200. I bought the Inigo now. Oh, we have 200. Via Vio. Shaki. Inigo now to 200. Via Vio. I went to 200. I went ah, on a matic, he said. Go ahead, mock by your okay, I confirm. I went via Vio. I via Vio. I will that the way is where I get chicken. I live. I would eat that was when I a stuffish. And you go to a stuffish. I went 500. 500. Mock by your. Then, up while the keto tie. Oh, you don't turn it. No, he perceived that I was perceived. The upper man, no co. Then, and at the end, oh, yeah, now I know you're going to hit. Oh, we're me, I know it. 1,800. Oh, you pay. Where are they, Madam? In the owner, Mama, in Matama, we're 200. Okay, now you're not your machine, be here, name and why it. I do deva, or do the bow, or they buy, or lay Yakube. The normal do what? Tamama, I want Matama, if we are happy, we're not. If we are walking in Malaysia, I know the way any. I want no way, if we are here, no way, Salopo, or no way. You will not be a good wife. You will be area scatter. Oh, who no you no you pay our boss you to go away. Akpa oh who will do? Who are total go away? Any plan is there? Am I talking here? Am I still your friend? Am I not 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 Oh, there are gig be okay. Do lawa are gig se water. Oh, we were African, we are African. We are getting African. It is African the boy. Since you know what change, sir, it takes discipline to sustain success because there are some certain level you don't need to spend money. We know that money is made to spend, but there are places you don't need to spend money. Why? Because of the way and manner the money comes, and he had that money as a responsibility at that time, so you don't need to use it to buy Hollandis or use it to buy one thing or the other that will not bring money at that time. That money is supposed to be invested so that we can sustain the growth and the success of the business. I put here two types of discipline: internal discipline. The one you put on yourself 
eternal discipline, the one you put on yourself, you discipline yourself to be able to grow and succeed in the area of your feet. You discipline yourself to be able to grow and succeed in the area of your feet. Give me Proverbs 21 verse 17. Proverbs 21 and verse 17. Because many of you, they will tell you, say, ah, I can arrive here, I can arrive here, I can follow me, am I teaching you? I can arrive here, 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 but I can say, I can arrive here, 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 so you are here. What are you making now? Lo we say, "Imi na mi na say." He that loves pleasure shall be what? Shall be a poor man. Pleasure, enjoyment. He that loves enjoyment, the Bible will say what? He shall be a poor man. He that loves wine and oil shall not be rich. You know when you talk about this one, uh, uh, we pass. Let me hear what we Bible. Let me hear the Bible. Oh my no, 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 no! The Bible is seven, seven thousand. Oh my no, the two thousand. I look at all. Oh we ah, my no day ten thousand. My wife has a pot of soup. No care where two thousand. I'm a comology. Oh we oh my dear, we have been why now so far. Can I tell you? And then obey, obey. I look at it all. It's better for you to manage, to sustain the home than to refund or destroy the wealth. And you thought you are enjoying. Are we together? Are we still together? He that loves pleasure shall be a poor man. Enjoyment, party to party, be a parlor to be a parlor. You will not see friends. They will begin to hold you. Ebo selu me moto, ebo selu me moto, ebo selu me moto. Yo yo de, yo de, they they hate you into poverty, they are hailing you into grave. Ebo sel, who not see you not the zero. They begin to hail you. You look at them. How many of you are there? Go say we be six. Madam, give them one carton. Ebo sel, you are going. Many, many years ago, I had it in mind to be rich because I don't like poverty at all. So I make my plans towards it. My mother, my dad, born 12 children. Like me, eh? Now, 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 17 years ago, born. Born 17. Out of the 70, maybe now one will go school. The rest called daughter, we buy Rupusha, Shumeka, all of them, all of them. Now they will end up. Sit down now and plan, plan, plan. No, you as a sit down and plan. My wife is three. Whether boy or girl or whatever is three. Because the, I want to meet up. Where or more of a book, I feel. I read a feel. <laughs> yes, you don't compare a man who has no job, he has no good job, and he has 12 children to a man who has no good job and has three. Am I talking now? Where why are you four above Gary? Yeah, I came back the two days. No, 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 the man with the both three children, he go manage one robber of Gary, the same town, the same economy. So wisdom is what we need. Wisdom. My prayer for you. May you learn how to be disciplined. Yeah. Eternal discipline and eternal discipline. The eternal discipline is the one you discipline yourself. Eternal discipline is the one your teacher or your parents put on you. So your children must be disciplined. Eternal discipline is the one your teacher or it is your pastor or your parents put on you. Because you have done it, this is what you will do. Because you have done it, this is what you will do.
So if 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 I am a father, so you don't need, you can't talk anyhow. Can a child say something? And he say, I say I know I know some be small picking. Who were far out? Jesus, God said to him, I love it. I chastise. The one I love, I chastise. I correct, I flog. Because I love him, I flog him. <laughs> Moses was a man after God's heart. Two of us. A man after God's heart. When Moses misbehaved, God tell him, come, hand over to Joshua. You won't enter there. God love Moses or not. He love him. You will enter. Give it to Joshua. I want you to know that I am not a God that lie. Stand here. What are you seeing? He say a lamb flow with me. He says, say, stand here. You have seen it. You will enter because you disobey me. God did not hate Moses, but he just want to discipline Moses. Moses finally died after asking God for mercy. And the Bible says the devil, Satan, came to drag the body of Moses. Because God rebuked Moses and God, most Satan thought that it's all over with Moses. When Moses died, Satan came to begin to drag a corpse. And the Bible said the angel of the Lord came and said, Now my own. Satan said, Now my own. God said, Now my own. Even though I rebuke her, not me saying, Now your property. And finally, the devil left Moses and the angel of the Lord took Moses to heaven. I go and go on. I go and go on. As I keep quiet, not talk to you. Something not tell you, say, where did the daddy might pass you? Something not tell you, say, this man, the girl word, he don't want to talk. As I didn't talk to you, something not tell you that it's dangerous as this man not to say any word than he say something. He that listen and obey, you will succeed. I say you will succeed. You shall succeed. Three area of discipline. One area of sleeping. Some people sleep too much. Even in the church, they sleep. If you put them as protocol, they are standing, they are sleeping. Now only God will help some people one day. As they stand, they will see and grant the day because of sleep. Proverbs 20, 13, and Proverbs 6, 4. Proverbs 20, verse 13 first. Some people will just sit down. They can sleep beside market. They will shake pepper. They will sit down. Make them not just sit down. I be the wala. When they don't sit down, they will look you. You will say that they look you. Now sleep that day. I will tell you say that they sleep. Now when you don't look at Madam Wamba, they look you. But they are, you just say you open her. You don't open her. You don't go. You can't do like this on his face. Madam, how we are here? It will be Oh, oh, God. Love not sleep. Least thou come to poverty. Love not sleep. Least thou come to poverty. Open thy eyes, and thou shalt be sanctified with bread. The last sleep too much. Even as I'm touching now, if you are covered with that congregation, you see some people where they sleep. If I shall touch her, you see, <laughs> fear not, let us shall talk again. This kind of people, you leave them. Camera, anytime you see person with a shield, like, I go touch camera, man. Point to the guy, make the zoom up. And they see them for television. At the mercy of the whole rich, the man is here. <laughs> I know I kind of wonder how, how, whether 
they, they do all night for house because this is Sunday morning and this is early as possible 6 to 9 30 you are still sleeping can I conclude that way that you didn't sleep at night so I can't imagine coming to church between 6 30 to 9 you slept off all what happened in the church today you didn't know now so that happens everybody move your open eyes, you say, even, even the children, nobody does that church. <laughs> now, let you there. <laughs> if I ask one of my brother, he will say, Oh, we fine. Now, what have you done? I'll you done. I'll you I will see friends. <laughs> Number two, discipline your mouth. Let her control. Your mouth. Proverbs 21 and verse 23. Proverbs 21 and verse 23. Control your mouth. Discipline your mouth. Many people have lost it because of lack of controlling their tongue. Whosoever keepeth his mouth and his tongue keepeth his soul from trouble. If you keep your mouth and keep your tongue, you keepeth your soul from trouble. I wish you friends. Can I continue? Learn not to flatter people. When suppressing, when 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 if I, when they talk to you about suppressing, you will never again regard the person in your life. I later find out in life, sometimes those you flatter are the people who go with really position to help you tomorrow. you destroy are those who God sometimes position to help you tomorrow. Number three, your time. Be disciplined about time. Time cannot be stopped. Time cannot be stretched. And time cannot be spread. It can only be managed. Time cannot be stopped. You know, we take time to wait for you. So, time cannot be stretched. Time can also, if our time can only be managed. Ephesians 5 16. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. This time, make I pause and make you wait for me. You go there and pause the time. As you pause the time, have you paused the day? You cannot stop time. You cannot spread time. You cannot store it. Make I store all the time where I need. Make I store and for that warehouse. So anytime I need them, I go take up. You cannot be stopped. You can only manage it. So manage your time. There are time for calling. There are time for service. There are time for job. There are time for many men. There are time for everything. Ecclesiastes says there is time for everything. Number seven. Focus. Focus. It means giving complete attention without distraction. Giving complete attention to that without distraction. Complete attention to it without distraction. Focus. 100% focus. I said, the call hey, why why I stop? Why I stop? Get here. I said, the call hey, why I stop? Gele, gele. Oi, gele, de. Uri, stop. Focus. As they call it, why 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 office? Get it, get it all day. Why why focus? Give it complete attention without distraction. So persons have never entered big man. They are already having like seven bodyguards. They never enter a gap. They don't already get like six to five boys whether they pay. 
<laughs> I know if he go walk. Help me go walk home. It's good. But understand the same way you manage the car. The person you give can never manage it like that. No matter how close the person is. Not be the way I will try to drive my car. You get a girl away or wrong reach, I will slow down, so we pass. The person we won't give them say want a driver. He go run past her. You can't tell you say, oh God, spring, just break. Oh God, uh, I just fought for a small gallop, tire bus. If it were your own, will you do it that way? Am I talking now? Will you do it that way? No. Who are very young? Who can allow a woman? And you know that the person's house is very neat. He bought a new yore, but the bottle of Raya, who will allow? He will do it too well. He can do one liar, who will buy a bottle of bottle of lie. I've been with that. There are some who are heartless. They know that they happen. No. They will still be going around. They will be going around. <laughs> it's simple. Can I ask you a question? If it were your house, will you do it that way? If you will not do it that way, because you have done that, you have committed sin. Prov Sorry, James chapter 4 and verse 17. The Bible says, He that knoweth to do good and uh, doeth it not, to him is what? A sin. Why am I my title? He that knoweth to do good and do it not. To him is what? To him is what? Focus. Focus. For you to succeed, this is a rule. So. Hebrew chapter 12 and the verse. A, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Romans chapter 8 and verse 5. For they that are after the flesh, do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. So focus. We are looking at number 8. Zeal. Zeal. The zeal to do it. The mind to do it. The zeal to do it. Mr. Echo. I know him many years ago. When he came to fix my father the lost generator. Although he didn't know me that time. One day he saw me on on media, on internet, and he used to follow us every Sunday. I begin to comment. One day he said, he sent me, sir, where is your church? I want to come. I said, now all those uh, people, no, you know them now. They will tell you say they come, they not come. I just managed to send him address. This is our location. Look at our location. Where I, he said, look, look at this place. Before you know, he came to church. First time, second time, third time. And that was how he became a member. Nobody preached to him from Facebook. Zeal. What am I trying to bring out? The same work I know him then doing is the same work he's doing. He is not distracted. Whether he made na yahoo yahoo, whether he made na like that, whether he made na drip, he is not distracted. He focus on the work he's doing and God is blessing him in the same work. Zeal to do. I want to learn fashion designer. After I've learned fashion designer, no, I will not learn this one again. I want to learn uh, shoemaker. After learning shoemaker, no, I will not do it. I want to learn how to make a cream. After learning that one, I will not do it. I want to learn uh, uh, those who um, that bake uh, meat pie and egg roll. Now that one they evoke now. 
So if you're carrying me for court and I beg like 50 mipa, I don't get. When you continue to do all this, at the end, you end up gaining nothing. Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. The zeal to focus on that which God has given up to you may rest upon you. Yes. Zeal means to be fervent in spirit. To be fervent in spirit. It means to be hunger of that thing. That thing the Lord put in your hand. That thing to be fervent in spirit. To be hunger of that. We were two that was invited to a program. That man preached and preached and preached. I got display. He said, you, because of that now, you now left your own calling and focus. God call you. Say, you, I've called you to be a musician. Play for me Christian music. That is your calling. The only time you sing and you praise God, the atmosphere is changed. Everybody is blessed. You now see the other one. Where they sing one worldly music and everybody see shake. You say that one you won't enter. <laughs> to be fervent in spirit and to be fervent in that which you are doing. Romans chapter 10 and in verse 2a. For I bear the record. For I bear them the record. I bear them the record. They have zeal of God. I bear them. Record the have zeal of God. zeal of God. Some came up one day, one day, one day, cocoa afternoon. And I called person, say, where are you? Say, market. The other one, where are you? Say, market. I need your attention now. Now. He said, yeah, daddy, where are you? I say, meet me in church. In less than 10 minutes, all of them all of them were standing. Zeal, all of them. They were standing. Those who came with Bezi, let Bezi outside. All of them were standing. I just look at that smile. If it were some. That they are the market. Where are they far? Unfaithfulness. Say for I bear them record that they have of God. I bear them record. Those who have zeal of God, I know them. Why some are there for coming sick? Why some came to discourage others? Why some came to just look? Why some came to follow? Why some came to fence those who want to stand? For I bear them record that they have zeal of God. Not according to knowledge, but according to the will of God. Zeal give you emotion to your vision. Zeal give you emotion to your vision. As I stop there. The first year in my Bible school, we're about to graduate. The first year, the first year, we're about to graduate for the first degree. A man finished teaching. I saw myself heavy of load. So I needed to discharge the load that was on me. So I told myself before I resume my second degree in school, I will put I will plant a church. The thing was so heavy on me. What armor did I have? 30,000 era. The land. We were to pay for was 30,000 30, naira. So I used the money to pay for the land for one year. But for the first six months, nothing was done there. But something was heavy in me that before I go back to school, that ministry will start. So I walk there and I pull my shoe and I use my leg to march around. I say, Lord, this is a place where your sanctuary will be built. And this church will be built before I go to second degree school. And I marched around, I marched around, I marched around. I used Joshua chapter 1, verse 3. And I prayed and I put on my shoe and I left. 
two weeks later, money started coming from nowhere. Money started coming from nowhere. The money that came first was 100,000 naira. I took the title of it. I sent it to my father the law. I took 100,000, uh, 10,000 naira. I gave to mommy to add to the business. Momo petty petty business was doing a house. I pushed the 80,000 naira there. When God saw the sea, he brought another money. That was how that just stand. Zeal, zeal. If you don't have it, God will push you up. If you hear me say, I hear you. I said, see, give you emotion to your vision. Which seed do you have? What seed do you have? Even the business, what seed do you have on it? I want to, I want to be, become a generator in a period. What seed do you have on it? I want to ask her, God, what seed do you have on it? I want to become like this. What seed? It depends on the seed you have on it. I never knew Vito. Mr. Vito, I knew him in a former church one day where he came to play in, a, I think, a Pastor Ezekiel's church. I just love him. I said, give me your number. So we'll, we'll do some little program. We'll come in. So I saw him. What made him to fall in love with him was all this Christian music he used to play, like Mama Naomi and all that. God, now wait, whatever you gain by prayer, you sustain it by prayer. Whatever you get by praises, you sustain it by praises. Whatever you get by worship, you sustain it by worship. And whatever you get by sacrifice, you sustain it by sacrifice. 